hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i use my ipad to take my lecture notes and make summarized lecture notes i'll be showing you a walkthrough tutorial of the application that i use and i'll also be showing the step-by-step -step method of how i come about to composing my notes <laughs> So this is the iPad that I use guys, I have the iPad 8th generation one. This is the 2020 model iPad and to write all my notes on the iPad with, I use this stylus pencil which is a perfect dupe for the Apple Pencil for literally less than half the price of the Apple Pencil that I managed to find on Amazon and it pretty much does the job perfectly. The bottom three apps that you see here are the main three apps that I use in my note taking process. So the first app that I use is called OneNote and I use OneNote for my lecture slides annotations. So OneNote is split into different notebooks which I use for my different modules for this year. Each notebook can then be divided into further sections based on week or the content that you're doing for that week, so the topics within each module. And I like to use OneNote to annotate my lecture slides due to its infinite page um, function that there is built inside OneNote and the best thing about this app is that it's absolutely free. One of the best features about the iPad is the split screen function so I like to have my downloaded textbooks on one side for the recommended reading that comes along for each module. Then I just read through the textbook and I highlight any key information and if there's anything that is missing from my lecture slides that's in the textbook I just annotate and add those on. Now the main app that I'll be talking about in this video is the app called Notability. So Notability is a digital note making app and I think it's only available for iOS and iPad, I'm not sure if it's available on Android devices. So Notability is split into different folders where you can like categorize it according to your different modules and then within each folder you have like these different subsections for let's say summary notes or questions and then within that you have your actual notes. So I'm just showing you guys a couple examples of how I make my summary notes. Notability is a great app but the only thing is that you do have to pay for it but I really think that the payment, the one time payment is really worth the price. So I'm going to show you guys now how I actually make my notes. So I start off by just labelling it and then you have a wide range of colour options that's available on Notability. So on the top bar here are just some of my favouritised colours. So I have a selection of highlighter pen and regular pen. So I start off by writing the title. And I'm not the most artistic person or like aesthetic person when it comes to note taking but I still do try my best to make my notes look somewhat presentable and yeah. Now you see me trying to be a bit extra and go over the title that I already made trying to make my notes look like one of those Pinteresty aesthetic notes that you would find. There is also a select tool that you can click on and this just allows you to move your writing around if you didn't like where it started off originally. You can move things around, you can relocate them and even like change sizes. So this just allows your work to all fit better on a page. Okay guys, so this next feature is one of my absolute faves and that is the auto straighten feature. So you can just draw a line and if you press down on the ends for a couple seconds, it will automatically straighten the line for you. Like how cool is that? And then I bring back up my good old friend OneNote and I just do a split screen so I can write on Notability on one side and have a look at my lecture notes on the other side. So I just read through the lecture notes and I kind of do a summary form of my lectures. So that's what I'm going to show you guys now. So I like to split my summary notes into different sections based on the learning objectives for that topic or that lecture. 
and underneath it i'll just put everything that's related to that topic from the lecture slides and annotate around it so take a lot of screenshots of the images from the lecture slides of the textbook and add those into my summary notes which is one of the main reasons why I got an app that allows me to have photo adding ability as well as the main reason for getting an iPad is so it saves me time drawing them and I'm a rubbish artist so I can't draw I'm really bad so this definitely saves me time and makes my work look much better so I just add in any images using the add pictures function so I can just annotate around it and construct my notes. I'm a very indecisive person when it comes to the look of my notes so here it was in red but I don't want it to be in red anymore so I can just simply select it with a select tool and using the option style you can change the color of it as well as the thickness of the pen which I think is a really cool and useful function and saves a lot of time. So my notes consist of a lot of pictures, annotations and writing and this is what the final notes look like before I highlight them. So I use a lot of colours to differentiate between my keywords, subheadings and just different topics within my whole lecture. I just go over and highlight any key information. I try not to over highlight even though that can be very tempting. But I just highlight any key information and things which are new to me and I don't already know. So this is what I do. So this is what the end summary notes look like. I try my best to fit it all onto one page. So this is one full lecture's worth of content summarised on one page in Notability. So you guys can probably tell by now that the split screen function in the iPad is my favourite function. So what if you can do that within the same app? Because so far we've only seen that with two different apps. But Notability lets you do that so you can just search which other file you want within Notability and you can split screen it by dragging it along to the side. And this way you can take notes from a previous lecture slide or something for example from one of the summaries you've made earlier. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm just recapping a formula so I can use it in this other note that I'm doing for my problem solving questions for this specific topic. So as mentioned before you have a selection of colours that you have at the top which you can favourite so you can these can include highlighter pens and just regular pens and you can also change the width and size of the ink that comes out as well as the styles. A good erasing tool is also available in Notability so you have different thickness of the rubber that you can choose which you want to rub out and you also have different options so you have a partial rub as well as a whole rub option so with a whole rub you can just tap on the item that you want to delete and it will just rub it out completely for you. The partial erasing function on the other hand as suggested by its name gives you the ability to rub out specific sections of what you want to erase. Another cool function of Notability is similar to this auto straighten which is the auto shape detecting function. So you can just draw a shape and even if your shape is really badly drawn then it will auto select it for you and turn it into what the shape is actually meant to look like by just again pressing down at the end of the shape for a couple seconds. You do have the ability to also type your notes if you don't want to handwrite them and you have a wide range of fonts and different sizing options. By pressing on the magnifying button at the bottom right hand corner you have the ability to zoom in on a specific section even further and you can write within that section. So if you're trying to fit a lot of notes like what I'm doing here onto one page by using the zoom function you're able to write neatly within that space. 
You have the option to customize what your notes look like so you can choose what style of paper you want in terms of colors and if you want it lined or blank dotted. So I personally like to choose the square one. I just think my work looks neater in that. Guys, I've saved the best feature till last to show you and oh my god, I love this feature, I have to say it. So you know the struggle, especially as a uni student, when you're trying to catch up with what your lecturer is saying but he's just going too fast and you just can't write fast enough and you just don't know what's going on. So now you can record what the lecturer says and write down your notes at the same time with this record function in Notability. And this way, once you've written it down and recorded the audio, you can actually press back and it'll play it for you. But not only that, it also plays back the audio with you, the writing appearing on the screen the same time in sync with how you took the notes in the first place with the audio so finally i'm just going to show you guys some of the setting features that there is in notability uh, which is pretty straightforward if you have a look through the settings you'll find it yourself but it's just important that you enable those certain features like shape detection and straight line detection in the settings so it allows you to do that you also do have different themes and settings so you can have like light modes dark modes i personally like working on dark mode and you can also back up all of your notes to Google Drive or to your Dropbox or any other storage cloud feature that you have. So that is it guys for today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this and found it somewhat beneficial. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below letting me know how what you thought of it and any future video ideas that you guys want to see from me. And so yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon in another video.